Welcome back. Well, Hunter Biden's plea deal collapses yesterday as he ends up pleading not guilty to tax evasion. The judge balking at the immunity that his team wanted for everything as it was revealed that he is, in fact, under federal investigation for possible violations of acting as a foreign agent. Judge Mary Ellen Norieka is also telling the first son to lock, look for a job, not possess any weapons, avoid drugs and alcohol, and submit to drug testing before his hearing on August 25th or face jail. Joining me right now is New York Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. She's the House Republican chairwoman and a member of the House Armed Services, Education and Intelligence Committees. Congresswoman, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Good to be with you, Maria. Give us your reaction to what appeared to be refreshing honesty from that judge yesterday. Well, it was refreshing honesty from the judge, but let's take a step back, Maria, what's happened in the past 48 hours. Lawyers for Hunter Biden pretended to be Ways and Means Republican staffers and demanded that the IRS whistleblower testimony be taken off the docket. Because of this judge, she was paying very close attention. She was able to find out that they were pretending, and I believe that is worthy of being disbarred, the fact that these lawyers would pretend to be Republican staffers to try to hide that information from her. She was correct to demand a response from the Hunter Biden lawyers, but she was also correct to find that sweetheart immunity plea deal slipped into this agreement, giving Hunter Biden a sweetheart deal, whereas every other American has to live by a totally different set of rules. This would have protected Hunter Biden from any future prosecutions of the multiple federal crimes that he has committed. That's unacceptable and it's un-American, so I credit this judge for her decision. So uh, just walk us through this. So in other words, Hunter Biden's lawyers walked in there thinking that once he pleads guilty to tax evasion, he would be immune from anything else, including all the money he's taken in from foreign uh, adversaries and foreign nationals. That is correct, That's Maria. unbelievable. What and arrogance to walk in what? and expect that kind of immunity. It's arrogance, and it is living by a different set of rules if your last name is Biden, and it's fundamentally un-American. Uh, this is why House Republicans are going to continue our oversight work, because it's because of our investigations that we have uncovered all of this. This was partially uncovered because it was the Republicans on the Ways and Means Committee who shared the IRS whistleblower testimony with this judge. The lawyers for Hunter Biden tried to take that down and pretended to be a staffer for the Ways and Means Committee. It is just so chilling. It is unprecedented. But again, this judge needs to be credited for making sure that we are a nation based upon the rule of law, equal justice under the law. Uh, Kaylee, you mentioned this earlier, the fact that they tried to lie and make believe they were from the House Ways and Means Committee. This is uh, pretty stunning. Have it, you ever seen anything like this? It is stunning. And, Congresswoman, we know ultimately that the Hunter Biden story is a Joe Biden story. And now you have the White House changing its language in an effort to distance the president from his son's foreign business dealings. Now, some Republicans in the House have floated a potential p impeachment inquiry into Joe Biden over this issue. Is that something that you would support? Oh, absolutely. I'm in conversations with Speaker McCarthy and all of our members. And the important thing to know about impeachment inquiry is that ensures that the House is at the apex of its power and oversight responsibility. So it means that our subpoenas have the most power possible when it comes to litigating this out in court, because we know getting the facts is not going to be easy. We know that this White House, this Department of Justice, they are trying to cover up for Hunter Biden and ultimately Joe Biden. And what is important that you mentioned at the beginning of your your statement is the White House is trying to quietly change its language. First, it said that Joe Biden never spoke to his son, Hunter Biden, about Hunter's business dealings. They have changed that language to now saying Joe Biden has never been in business with Hunter Biden's business operations. That is a significant change. And the fact that the White House press secretary lied to the American people to say, oh, no, it's the same position we've always had, it is only because of House Republicans that we've discovered the dozens of LLCs, which is illegal money laundering, the fact that nearly 20 Biden family members have profited illegally. Uh, I believe that the American people are smart. They understand that the big guy is Joe Biden. But having that impeachment inquiry allows us to get all the facts and have the most constitutional, uh, constitutionally recognized power from the House of Representatives. Well, with all due respect, Congresswoman, how many more facts do you need? I mean, you and Committee Chairman Jim Jordan, James Comer, Jason Smith sent the letter to the White House demanding answers on the White House shifting the message on the president's role in Hunter's uh, business. Uh, but we already have bank records. We have a witness testimony. A lot of people are saying, you know, uh, if you're going to impeach, get moving already. 
Well, Maria, I've been one of the most forward-leaning in saying we need to leave no stone unturned. And ultimately, I believe we're going to find more LLCs, and I believe we're going to find LLCs that go straight to Joe Biden himself. Uh, and the American people deserve to know that. They deserve to have all of the facts. Yeah. And we're going to do that. And I believe that what we've uncovered just in seven months alone is stunning. It is chilling. It is the biggest political scandal of my lifetime and perhaps the last century, perhaps ever. But I want to make Make sure that we have all the evidence possible. The American people deserve nothing less, especially, uh, you know, especially as we're seeing Joe Biden, you know, his weak policies, but they need to understand the level of corruption that it goes straight to the top. Yeah, I mean, without the Republicans in charge, American people would have no idea of any of this. You've done an excellent job in terms of getting to the, uh, the getting to the nuggets of uh, information. Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre reacted to all of this yesterday. Here's what she said. Watch. So I just want to clear this up once and for all. The president has previously said that he has never discussed overseas business dealings with his son, but the White House now says that the president has never been in business with his son. So why the updated language? Which statement is true? Or is this semantics and they're both true? Uh as I stated on Monday, when I was asked this question multiple times, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed so on this. Nothing true. has changed on this. Uh, and so you could ask me a million different ways uh, on this question. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed, Congresswoman. What do you want to say? Not only is that factually inaccurate, but it's condescending to the American people. The American people are smart. They know that the White House is trying to cover their tracks. They know that they're having to change their position because we've shown evidence that Joe Biden has spoken to Hunter Biden about his overseas business dealings. And what's worse, he did so, and I believe was intimately involved, when he was the sitting vice president. And now he's involved in forcing the Department of Justice to cover up and protect the Biden family, uh, you know, to protect them from the rule of law and prosecution. That's fundamentally un-American. And as I said, it is our constitutional responsibility to root out corruption in every agency, and we're going to do that as House Republicans. And I've been proud, you know, standing in the breach on some of the toughest fights we've had related to the unconstitutional impeachment under the Democrats. We're going to do things right and follow the facts and evidence and make sure that the impeachment inquiry, our subpoenas, and our request for documents have the most um, understanding and uh, that that the judges rule in favor of the House of Representatives when it comes to our constitutional responsibility of oversight. Well, I mean, I can understand the issues that you're looking at, given the corruption on one hand and the ineptitude on policy on the other hand. I mean, you know, who do you impeach first? Do you impeach Joe Biden for uh, corruption, uh, taking all of this money, or do you impeach Alejandro Mayorkas for ineptitude and dereliction of duty at, at the border, or do you impeach Merrick Garland for interfering in an investigation and, and lying under oath. I mean, you've got lots of choices here, and I didn't even mention Janet Yellen telling us inflation was uh, transitory and, uh, and the energy secretary, Granholm, not really knowing how much energy and oil we need. Well, certainly, you know, we're doing multiple investigations on Homeland. Uh, you know, it is clear that Secretary Mayorkas has been derelict of his duty. But it's not just Secretary Mayorkas, Maria. It's Joe Biden's administration. This is Joe Biden's border right. policies that have failed. And I think we need to hold them all accountable. When it comes to Attorney General Merrick Garland, it was my questions that revealed that the Department of Justice solicited the letter it used to go after parents as terrorists. That's right. That was based upon my questions yeah. that we were able to unveil that. And and then the document requests we did subsequent to those questions. So, yes, we will make sure that we're holding them accountable. And, you know, certainly there's a lot of officials to hold accountable, but we're going to leave no stone unturned. And I will tell you, the American people will continue to see transparency from this Republican majority in Congress, whereas if we were not in the majority, none of these facts would have gotten out there. That's, ex that's absolutely right. Congressman, it's good to see you this Join the conversation. Put your comments and suggestions below in the comment section. Thank you for subscribing to this news channel. You will be notified of any breaking news and new post as you become part and parcel of the McCad TV family. Please like and share McCad TV. We love you all. Please support McCad TV Foundation by joining membership and visiting Amazon UK to purchase the displayed books to aid our orphanage projects across Africa.